I'm an English migrant living in Austria. Now, like a lot of English people, I do like a nice country pub. Uh, but England's a bit too far to go on a hot afternoon when you live in Upper Austria. It's okay though, because I've discovered the Heurigger. So what on earth is a Heurigger? Well, it's a type of Austrian tavern. Um, a Heurigger is a place where local wine or juice makers serve their new produce during the growing season. And we can thank uh, Austrian Emperor Joseph II uh, for their existence. And on the 17th of August 1784, uh, he issued a decree that permitted all residents to open establishments and serve self-produced wine and juices. Heuriger is an abbreviation of Heuriger Wein, uh, or this year's wine, uh, and the Heuriger Tavern is named after it. Uh, today the Heuriger Taverns are renowned for an atmosphere of Gemütlichkeit, or coziness, uh, shared among people enjoying young wine and simple food. Don't worry if you're in a, uh, a fruit growing area of Germany, Slovenia or perhaps Friuli in Italy, uh, there are also similar places there too. Recently a friend drove us to a hoy rigger nestled in the rolling hills near Gunskirchen in the countryside a few kilometres outside of Vales in Upper Austria. A hoy rigger like this one where apple or pear cider is served is called a most hoy rigger. This is the Most Heuriger Fuchsburger, and it has a fabulous sunny terrace with a view across the fields. It's next to a restored Vierkanthof farmhouse, and it's open from April to September, Mondays to Fridays from 4pm. The most produced here is made from pressed apples. In Germany this might be called Apfelwein or Fietz. Most has an alcohol content typically of about 6% and a tart sour taste. It's often drunk diluted with water and it's just the thing on a hot summer evening. This is nothing like the sweet industrial stuff you often see stacked high in plastic bottles in an English supermarket. Of course, other drinks are available, not least apple juice, but if you're at a Most Heuriger and you don't want a drink made from apples, then the drink is likely to have been bought in. With the cider, I ate Grammelschmalz on dark bread. It's made from pork fat and it's an Austrian speciality though there are similar dishes in other countries. Mine was served with thinly cut raw onions on top. Now, Grammelschmalz is basically lumpy lard, but don't let that put you off. It's very tasty, but your breath may be rather strong for a few hours afterwards if you eat the onions. And it's certainly not vegetarian, which is interesting because this Heurige is also an animal sanctuary or Gnadenhof. You drink your cider and eat your meal with chickens running about, around your seat and under your feet, while from the nearby animal enclosure you hear the braying of donkeys and, perhaps unsurprisingly, lots of rooster calls. The enclosure is quite big and it's worth leaving your table and taking a few minutes to look at the animals. This is also a popular place to show children, of course. Here they also look after emus and goats, sheep and pigs, ponies and ducks, horses, peacocks, llamas, cattle, camels, rabbits, and dogs and cats. Their website, wiesmeiergut.at, explains their ethos this way. They use their strength as an organization to help animals that no one else needs or wants. But to be strong requires financial resources. So, the Most Heuriger offers meat, as well as vegetarian and vegan dishes, to ensure their survival because 90% of their guests do not want to completely abstain from meat. And they explain that their meat is from controlled, morally acceptable sources. I should add here that Austria is a fairly carnivorous country with perhaps fewer vegetarian food options than in England. And I should also add that there are other ways to give financial support to the work of this animal sanctuary. For example, you can sponsor an animal. So, in conclusion, if someone recommends a Heurigger, do pay a visit. You won't regret it. Uh, if you're visiting a Heurigger, the chances are you'll need a car or a bicycle to get there, as these places are often in the middle of nowhere. Uh, having said that, they're often in the middle of some gorgeous countryside as well, um, and it's well worth the effort to get to a, a good hoy rigger like the one in this video. Um, they're popular, there's a great atmosphere, and this one's particularly family friendly. However, do remember that the hoy rigger experience is one for the warmer months as these places tend to close at the end of the summer.
Well, that's all for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please uh, click the like button below and subscribe to my channel and maybe leave some comments in the comments section below. Uh, I hope to see you again very soon with more from Austria and in the meantime you can follow me on Twitter and on Facebook. So that's all for now. Bye!